COVID-19 changed life as we know it. Students in particular are still feeling the effects. Well, kids are back in school now in person. The concern is the lack of time spent in the classroom that has led to learning loss. Abby Davis visited with the Boys and Girls Club earlier today. So the question is, how are they getting kids caught up, Abby? Well, part of it is that they have an after school program called Power Hour, where kindergartners to seniors in high school get help with their homework. And it's not a new program, but staff say Power Hour is more important now than ever before. Kids experience a little bit of learning loss every year when they come back to school after summer break. That was three months out of school. But this year is a little different. Kids are still getting caught up after remote learning during the pandemic. COVID-19 didn't do it, kids any kind of favors with, you know, having extended periods away from school and their teachers. Colleen Braga is the Ada County Boys and Girls Club Executive Director. She says Power Hour, an after school homework help program, helps address that issue. It, it takes a concerted effort and a team of people working on kids' behalf to get them back to where they need to be. We spend a lot of time engaging kids in like basic reading and basic mathematics skills. We know that they need those to be able to continue to learn. NWEA, a research-based not-for-profit organization that specializes in student assessments, recently published a study comparing pre-pandemic academic achievements to the 2021-2022 school year. Test scores show students of all ages experienced learning loss because of the pandemic, but that older students were impacted more severely. Researchers expect it will take the average elementary school student at least three years to fully recover from the effects of COVID-19. For older students, it will take far longer. While students are now, quote, rebounding, the study indicates there's a long way to go. Braga says there are many different factors that play into academic success. If there's uh, food insecurity, if there's domestic violence happening, if there's other things that, are, that put stressors on them, all of that affects the ability to learn. Boys and Girls Club Program Director Darnisha Orcutt says they're simply meeting kids where they're at. Coming back, we um, just have seen a lot of change in personalities, a lot more introversion than I think that we're um, used to. So we've just found that we have to pivot and adapt to whatever is happening, which is kind of our concentration is, okay, what is the need? How do we meet that need? There are eight Boys and Girls Club locations throughout Ada County, and at their Mosley Center, the club helps about 40 students during power hour on any given day, and that can be as simple as working with the student for 45 minutes on really whatever they're struggling with the most so that they can close that learning gap that was made a lot worse because of COVID. It's yeah. interesting, too. It's not just the educational part, but it's that social aspect mm -hmm. that there seems to be a little bit of a gap as well. Yeah, in their formative years, you just yeah. can't even imagine what these kids went through. All right, Abby, thank you.